Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to create seamless Instagram cursor. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. And if you have been watching my video and you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe. Now let's dive in. First of all, you have to create your uh, page. How do you create your page? You go to on your pixel app to change your uh, page size. Normally, Instagram post in portrait size is 1080 by 1350. But depending on the slides you want, in width, if you, I don't think you want to create three slides, for instance, three slides, then 80 times 3. That's how to calculate Instagram uh, carousel. If you want to make 3 slides, you calculate the initial size with the size of the slides you want. For instance, we want 3 slides. Now, 1080 times 3 to be 3240. That will be your width size. Now you can write 3240. And the normal height for Instagram post is 1350. You will leave that one as that. Then you will hit OK. Can you see? Now let's go to our grid. We are going to use grid as our guideline to create these three slides. It's the grid. You see something like this. We are creating three slides, right? You go to settings here, where you set the grid. You see this guy here? Yeah. Click on it. Then, number of horizontal guides. We don't want any horizontal guide. You leave it at zero. Now, number of vertical guide. We are making three slides. And we need only two guides. You leave it at two and you hit OK. Can you see? We have three, three slides already. This is the guide. These are the two guides we just created. Now, if you want to create your design on these three slides, this is the first page, this is the second slide, and this is the third slide. Now, it's the setting again. Now, let's create a design. First of all, you might want to change your color. You know where to change your color? You go to this side, then go to color. Then you can select any color you want. In my case, I will just choose this. And you hit OK. Now, I want to import your image you can crop it it's a like and you can leave it it's in PSG format so you can crop it now you want it it's okay then you can resize it Don't forget, this is our guide. This is where the first slide ends, and this is where, this is also where the second slide starts. So, if you are creating Instagram carousel, make sure this grid, I mean, this guide is on. Can you see? Make sure it's on, so that you know what you are doing. Now, you can now write your text. Change the typeface. Now, 
In my own case, I will use this particular front here. It's okay. Then you can resize it. You can work with the line spacing. I think it's kinda much. So I'll leave it at this. Then you can change the color. You can change the color. Find color here. Yeah. Then you can change. You can give this out to a different color. Let me give you this. Others. Let me leave it at black. Now we are here. Let me just because of this particular IT here, it's on the image. So let me just give it a stroke so as to so as to make it more visible let me give it white no let me decrease it a little and leave it at this now you can just create something like this You can give this a different font. Let me just give it modelic curve. You can change the size. Change the color. Now, if you have, if you have any tagline you want to add, you can add it here. And it's okay. Now you can change the, the fonts. So something like this and change the size also to something smaller. Let me leave it at eleven. And you can drop it here. Now our first slide is done. Now let's create our second slide. This is our second slide here. You can just copy this and bring it here. Double click on it and type whatever you want to type. And change the size of this one. Leave it at this. Now I want to bold one particular word there. 
so i'll go to my font go to my font here select that particular word you want to bold let's say i want to bold this boiling here i'll select just the boiling then i'll give it another wieldy font here can you see and you hit ok now we have that bold here now let's import another image for the third slide oh don't forget this this is your tagline you can copy it again then bring it either here or here anyhow you want it you might want to leave it here if you leave it here you have to change the color you have to change the color so that it will be visible so you can go to the color here select where you want to change I want to change those this and I'll change it to white so as to make it feasible now let's import the last image you can crop it anyhow you want change the size use it And bring it here can you see the guide can you see the guide this is the guide this is where the second the second slide stop and the third slide starts so you know where to put your image put it as you want now you can copy this again if you want to type something there and copy it and bring it here again and double click to edit the text if you notice something just because i've changed this particular boiling to another font when i type it changes some uh, so, some particular font here so i'll have to go back go back go to the font give this particular font to everything again then you can now select anyone you want to alight then give it bold and hit ok now let's save you can save as documents i mean as a project Yes, when you're done saving as project, you go back to save. Save as image. You can save as PNG for high quality. Then go to dimension. Save as ultra for high quality. Then save to gallery. Now, go to this side. You see this guy here? Click on it. And go down then hit on the black space there and hit ok we have saved already now you can close this guideline don't need it for now now go to image size again remember i told you the normal instagram post size is 1080 by 1350 now we create the normal one slide size now hit ok then go to import where you import your can you see don't crop just hit ok now go to image size when you resize it go to relative size increase this to 100 and increase this to 100 now it's okay go to relative position can you see all this thing did you see it this particular one it's this one to get your first slide can you see this is your first slide you can now choose save as image png ultra blah 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 did you get it 
now to get the second slide you hit the center this is your second slide you can go to save save as image blah 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 and to get the third slide you hit the third uh something here this guy you hit it this is your third slide that is how you create seamless instagram post thank you very much for watching do not forget to subscribe to get more tutorial videos on pixel lab tutorial thank you very much